are having a hard time right now Then everything seems to crumble into us and we will help you through cause we only want what's best what's best for you I know that you are having trouble Everything is gonna be, it's gonna be alright I know that you, you're all alone in this world But you have to, put your trust into us And we will help you through Cause we only want what's best what is best for you?
never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark. So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop, can't stop, yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument, so I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase, and everything is going just great. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop, can't stop, yeah, yeah. stuff what's going on guys let's put my microphone on so y'all can hear me i don't know why i'm always caught by surprise but it's not like i don't know what's going on right <laughs> this is del and Artie live and this is daniel and you are Artie because you're watching and you're hanging out and you're chatting and having fun with me your zany beautifully bald host I'm happy that you're here with me tonight because we have a new sale going on this weekend at Colorado Craft Company, and it is inspired by the times that we're in, which is the edge of fall, entering into the Thanksgiving, pumpkins, spooky, fun time of the year. And so Colorado Craft Company, Amy, said that she would like us to talk about the fall and Halloween items that are available at Colorado Craft Company and feature them this weekend. And just for doing that, you guys are going to enjoy 20% off of all of the fall and Halloween goodies, 
plus free shipping. Just use my code, free shipping DW, and you get that 20% off plus the free shipping. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Use my code no matter what. If you pass 70, 80, 90, whatever the free shipping limit is, just put my code in there to let Amy know that I sent you her way, and yours truly will um, be blessed by that. Thank you very much. Also, there's a new little feature here tonight. Uh, first of all, before I get into that, um, if you're new here, please type the word new in all caps with an exclamation point. I want to say hi to you. Put your name up on the screen. I see Daisy Villa is here. She says, hola, Roberta. Como estas? Que estas haciendo, Roberta? What are you doing? <laughs> Welcome, Daisy. Let's give Daisy a hand. You're so happy you're here. And this is definitely a fun group. Let me show you what we're going to be doing tonight. And while I get these cards, the new feature is a tip jar. A tip jar. Now, did someone just put money in that tip jar? It says buy me a coffee up here, but I don't know if that... I don't think you guys can see that. Uh, would... Anytime someone buys me a coffee, that means you go to streamlabs.com, the donate button. There it is. There's the link. You send a gratuity tip, buy Daniel a, a coffee there at that link. It'll throw gold coins, silver coins, bronze coins in that little cup. It's just a little bit of fun. If you want to buy me a coffee, you can do that. That would be very nice. That helps me uh, stay caffeinated while I color for you. Right? And if I see those gold coins dropping in there, I'll, of course, do a boogie for you. You don't have to do that. Only those of you who are excited about seeing me dance for some odd reason <laughs> may want to do that. Yep, 20% off of Halloween and, and uh, fall goodies. Yes, yes. Okay. Let me show you what we're going to do tonight. Let's bring this camera down to my workspace. And... You guys are seeing all the things on that side of, of my desk. Let's zoom in just a tad, and then I'll show you the, the projects we're doing tonight. We're doing this little technique I'm calling craft inlay. Craft inlay. Because I know that some of you ask me for new ways to play with the Lovely Legs line of stamps from... Colorado Craft Company, and here I have three new projects that I just posted today. These are one layer cards, y'all. One layer. I don't have any bling on the outside. I don't have anything lifted up, nothing uh, popped up anywhere. And as you can see on the inside of my card, there is no marker poking through, right? I will definitely, but Linda wants to know if I'll boogie for a coffee. Yes, I will boogie for a coffee. <laughs> Thank you. That's very sweet of you to ask. Okay. So these are the projects that I put out there today, and I want to show you how to do that. I just got a super chat from Bon Bon. Thank you, Bonnie. Let me put my little uh, face up here. Here I am up at the top right, so let's boogie for Bonnie. I don't know if you guys got enough boogie in before the show, but uh, there you go. Thank you, Bonnie. That was very nice of you, my friend. I just gave you the wrong sound. There you go. <laughs> I just love these cards. Look at them. Yeah, I think they look much better on live video. <laughs> And they are just one layer. Isn't that the fun part right there? Just one layer. But I've inlaid them into a level of craft paper or sand cardstock. I'm going to get you real close there. What does that dog have in his mouth? Happy Thanksgiving to him, right? He's got a turkey leg in there in his mouth. He's chewing on a turkey 
leg or maybe a whole thigh. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> oh, Diane just bought me a coffee. Thank you so much, Diane. D, 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 D. Time to boogie again, y'all. I'm blurred out. Thank you very much, Diane. It's very kind of you. Diane is our admin in our group on Facebook, the Del and Artie community over there. And then I want to show you where we're headed tomorrow, just so you guys get a glimpse of what we're going to do tomorrow night. We're going to create this little wall art tomorrow night. I'm going to have to zoom out so you guys can see this whole thing. Let's see. There we go. Look at that. I did this one today. It took me a good long time to make this bit of uh, Copic art. Uh, this is not a card. This is something I can hang up on my wall. Isn't it fun? Super duper fun. What do you think? I love that blue background, that sky. And the, the reflection of the light on the top of his head and the sides. Beautiful. I just had a great time making this today. So, just so y'all know, this will be in the email tomorrow. And uh, all the supplies list and then a link for the video we're going to do tomorrow night. So that's what you have to look forward to tomorrow night. Now tonight, make sure you get all your comments in. Keep the conversation lively and fun. And I will pick two winners, two winners for uh, cards or stamp sets from tonight's live that we're going to be featuring. First, I'm going to get out this uh, fun little stamp set called Pumpkin Cuties. Pumpkin Cuties. Now, the link, um, if you go to shop at uh, Colorado Craft Company tonight, there is a link in the shop there for fall and Halloween and you'll be able to see all the things that are on sale there so go for that make sure you check that out is this my Let me make sure I get the right cardstock here how wide is this let's see Four and a half. Yeah, that's what I need. That's my sheet right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to stamp this out. And then we're going to color it in. And then we're going to inlay it into a piece of sand cardstock from Hero Arts. Right? So I'm going to trim this down. I don't have to have it in a specific place. You can see this one is well used. Well, Karen, I'm happy you're back, my friend. Welcome. Hi, Audrey. Welcome. Okay, so I'm going to use Hero Arts Intensified Black Ink here. Oh, man, Margaret, stay safe. I hope you can get out of there. Or at least get out of the way there. Bonnie wants to know if I have Spidey powers yet. No, just before the show tonight, about an hour before the show, I got bit by a, uh, it's called a sack spider, S-A-C spider. And it stung like a bee pretty much, but there's it didn't like leave any marks or anything on me. It just startled me real fast. I didn't know what it was. And it still gives me the eebie-jeebies. Spiders give me the total eebie-jeebies. So, anyway, I was not happy with that guy. And he met a swift death after I was able to identify him. I took a mug shot of him. I dropped my magnet. No, I don't know where it went. Okay, I'm going to turn the lights up. So we can see better. Move this back. Move 
this back a little bit. Okay, we're getting light coming in here. That's what we want. We want to see. Does the screen look a little yellow to you? I don't know why, but it doesn't look yellow on one screen and it looks yellow on the other for me. So let's start by coloring in our pumpkins. I'm going to use YR24, 27, 21, and E79. I need to get my E79 out. We'll start with the pumpkins. I'm just going to give them a light wash of this this YR21. This is my base color for all of these pumpkins. And I'm using Express It cardstock. Well, it's just called Express It card, but it's hard for me not to say cardstock when everyone knows that we're working with cardstock. All right, it's paper. Express It, it's a special formula for Copic markers. It's a special paper for Copics. I'm just going to color all of these in with this YR21. This does a couple of things. It really gives me a base color for all of my pumpkins and helps me to see right away on these smaller images where my pumpkins start and end without having to guess every single time. I see a new little piece that needs to be colored. I can have the, the yellow already done, right? And the second thing is I can use it as a base for, um, as a base for the color underneath my uh, darker shades. So I can let some of this peek through and I know that that's gonna be the, the lightest color that's gonna pop through on these guys, these pumpkins. Now, last year when I colored this, this stamp set came out last year, I created a Halloween story. You can watch that on YouTube, on the replay. It's a spooky story though, so if you're not into spooky stories, don't watch it. I turned these little kids into ghosts, so I colored them in with warm grays, and uh, told a ghost story of how they lost their heads. I drew pumpkin heads on top of them because these this stamp set, uh, Lovely Legs, only shows the legs, no heads or faces. That's the whole line does that. So there we go. All right, so we have all of our pumpkins base coat colored in, and now I can... I can come in with my darker colors. Okay, so now I'm gonna come in with my E79, and I'm just gonna add some darker flicks here at the base of all the pumpkins. The ones that are vertically oriented, I'm gonna do vertical lines on, and the ones that are horizontally oriented, I'm gonna do horizontal lines on. Just a base, like a little bit of darkness there on the bottoms. This one's horizontal. I may just add a little line under the leg here. Now this cardstock is such a dream to work with. It really is great for blending. You work half as much trying to get things to blend on this cardstock as you would on, say, a Nina Solar White. There we go. We've got pumpkins here and here. Let's put a little bit underneath the hands. And then one here. Just a little bit there and there, here and there, and everywhere. I should put my extra set of eyeballs on, right? 
my glasses. Now, I know that those glasses were right here just a little bit ago, so. I know they're not on top of my head. I don't know what I did with them, so. Unfortunately, we may go without glasses tonight. Oh, I think I put them. I put them down over there on the other side of my my table, so no, there will be no glasses tonight. Can you zoom in a little bit? Yes, thank you for asking. Yep, I can. I can zoom way in. Let's zoom in as much as possible here. Is that much better? Okay, so we've got all of our pumpkins with the base coat. Now I'm going to come in with the next one, which is YR27. And just flick upwards from there all the way probably about two-thirds of the way up the pumpkin. Just beyond my darkest marks there. I know, Karen, I need my glasses too now, but I think I'll make it today. I'll make it through this without them. My eyes don't feel super blurry right now, so. But when they get tired, that's when, that's when things start going bad. <laughs> when my eyeballs get tired. Okay, so here I'm coloring in. I didn't add any dark brown to this pumpkin since it's much higher up. You don't actually see the very base of it. But I am going to add some YR27 here. And then I'm going to come up a little bit further where the creases in the pumpkin are. Those are dimples. I don't know what the scientific name is. Does anyone know what the scientific name for the dimples or, or creases in pumpkins are? Or the technical term. <laughs> then I was getting off off camera. <laughs> I've got a tight space now with my camera, so I've got to be careful. Okay, so I'm just going to add this little bit of YR. You would not think that this is the right color for pumpkins, but it's really all relative to where you're to the other colors in your palette, of course. So in relation to the other colors I'm going to use, these are the right colors for this one. Okay. Let's add a bit here under the dress and up beside her leg. Then I'm going to get the YR. Actually, let's come up this crease a little bit with this one. And we'll come down from the top as well with this color. Then tomorrow we'll do this other pumpkin in a different orange. There are some really tight spaces in here that we're not really going to concern ourselves with. Just do the best we can, all right? Just do the best we can. Thank you, Karen. I have not actually done my full class over there. <laughs> I wanted to, but 
This is YR24. So now I'm just flicking up and flicking down. And I'm just going to leave a little bit of that YR21 showing through right around the crown there. See that? That's my base color. So I'm just going to leave a little bit of that showing through. on all of my pumpkins, so. Super fun. Super fun, okay. Just turning my cardstock a little bit, like that. And there. You guys can probably see better than I can since I zoomed in for you. Let's see. Just leaving some of that uh, lightest yellow to peek through there a little bit, all right? or orange, YR21. Pardon me as I got a little bit off there. I'm gonna come back in with my YR21 to blend those colors together. And then it looks more, um, you don't see the sharp lines as much, right? Like that. Then I'm gonna pop this back into my Misty in a minute and we'll sharpen up the black lines. I like to do that. I like how it looks. Okay, I think we need to do this here. I forgot that pumpkin there, so we'll go and we'll come in and get those these as well. They're super small, so I'm not going to be too concerned with them. YR24. Then back to YR21. Looks like I'm done with my pumpkins. Oh, there's a little bit left on that one there, isn't there? Just like that. I think that uh, E79 is super dark there, and I want to mitigate that just a little bit. So I'm going to grab my 77 and 74 out here and just come up a little bit beyond just to kind of soften that harsh line there because it's really, really heavy. We'll lighten it up just a little bit by doing this or soften that up a little bit. Just go a little bit further than where you were, than it was already. Just like that. And then the E74. We'll knock it back just a little bit more. And you still have that orange undertone, undertone there. I just don't want that harsh brown in there like that. I think that's better. Now I can come in with my R24. Brighten that up a little bit. Hmm. 
Isn't that better? Hola, Roberta. What are you doing? Roberta. Berta is speaking Spanish. <laughs> I love it. I love Spanish. There we go. I think that needs to be a little darker there. There, that's much better. That pumpkin a little darker. And uh, I think the blending here could be a little better. Knock that back a bit. Thanks, Lynn Sanders. The girl's leg. What are you saying about the girl's leg? Okay, the girl's going to get a red dress. So let's get R24. Make sure I get my R24. There it is. I'm just going to color her whole dress R24. Then we'll come in with the details with this intricate little image. We're going to want to see where her dress is completely. And then we can move on. But until then, we want to paint it red completely. Go up a little bit further because when we cut that off, we're going to actually draw in a bit of her shoulders there with a fine liner if you want I can draw the heads the pumpkin heads on these two on these as well <laughs> that's always fun all right the boy is gonna have green pants so I'm gonna do a YG 95 for his britches Kind of an earthy green, which I like very much. And he'll have a dark uh, gray sweater and new buck colored shoes. So let's do Y or W7 on his sweater. And then we'll add depth to this with some uh, W9 and W10. Got to remember not to color in his hands, right? The key to these things is contrast. So you want to see dark and light areas. Okay. New buck, new buck colored shoes would be this right here, just this wire 21 with a few details added in with another brown. She's going to have some black boots on, so let's get our W10, W9, W10. Um That'll work right there. Just do a W8 all over her shoes. Just leave a little streak there where light is going to hit that boot. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll let the light hit the boot on the left hand side. Just like that. Then add in some W10. Now you wouldn't think that that, that would make a much, much of a difference, but it absolutely does. 
It absolutely does. You can see it a lot better in person. And when I photograph these things, you see them better. Now you can see a little bit of that orange is missing on the top of our gourd. There we go. Fill that in. Now I'm going to take some W6 and color in where that light is supposed to be hitting these boots. So you see just that bit of definition there, a bit of a reflection there. See that? I love that look. Now for his boots, they're YR21, so I'm just going to add a little bit of YR24 here and there and leave one side a little lighter than the other. I don't know what that is over here I missed, but we'll fill it in. We still want to see the difference between the boots and the pumpkin, right? So we're leaving that lighter on purpose, just a little bit lighter down there. And now we need our YG97, 99 for his britches. <laughs> D. Daisy, that's funny. Yeah, stamp a pumpkin on their heads. Though drawing one is pretty simple. I'm just going to add this bit of a darker green here and there. Add some where the creases are on this side. There and there. Then for the other side, we'll add the the YG97. Add a little bit more of that right there on the right side. Right there. A little bit on the left hand side. the creases are in the pants then we'll come back with our YG95 and blend that all together and it'll be much more subtle that way see much more subtle now we need to add details to her dress so I'm gonna get R89 R29, R27. Let's just add this R20, R89 in here, the darkest parts. Right there, like that. Just like that. Isn't that fun? Super fun. Super duper fun. Okay, there's a little collar there on her dress. Let's do some R29. I love this. Uh, the R20s are my favorite reds. My favorite reds. And some in there under the pumpkin. R27. Just like that. Then we'll come back with R24 and blend them in. There we go. Now close up. I don't know how well, how clear that is for you guys, but let me zoom out just a little bit. 
That's clearer. Bonnie says, I need Daniel to do this when I'm trying to get to sleep at night. It makes me sleepy to watch him. <laughs> bon Bon. Don't go to sleep on me. Do not go to sleep. All right. We have some green leaves here and there. And we've got this little patch of uh, whatever grass and ground there is there. I'm actually going to turn that into a kind of a brown mess. So watch what I do. Watch this, my friends. Let's get a YR21. This is going to be our base. Base color, YR21. Let's make this a muddled little brown mess. A field. It's not really a mess. It's a field we're going for here. And we're going to cover the whole horizon, the whole panel here, with this color. I think my YR21 is done. Looks like I have no more. And I don't want to go get the refills. So I had just enough to get by. And he's going to go in my refill station. Now, YR20. Uh, let's do a green now. We'll do... Um, we'll do this YG95. Kind of like the pants. I like to limit the marker choices I, I have. Let's see, what's going on here? I think it's just the time Daniel is on. Maybe he could come on earlier. Am I, you guys can tell me, please tell me if I'm on too late for you. Is this a good time for you or not? I think I'm gonna go a little lighter with that green. Let's try GR43 first. Then we can add things if we want. I want everything to contrast. So if I get the ground too dark, then you're not going to see everything else very well. So it's important to have that contrast. And I can add in some green details with that darker green if I want, right? And I do want, actually. So... There, I love that orange underneath that green. I think it looks fantastic. perfect for Linda. I know for some it's going to be great. For others it's going to be terrible. I'm not able to to make everyone happy, but the earliest I could possibly come on is 8 o'clock. If you guys would rather me come on at 8, I can definitely change my change my time. Here I'm just going to add in some green details this is an olive green it's called Spanish olive YG 97 like this I love the contrast. This is adding the details. This is adding in here is really good. Super nice. Jerry says, no, not earlier. <laughs> 8 p.m. would be good. Sue says, nine works too. Eight or nine is good. Nine is great.
I just want you all to be happy. I'm just going to add little squiggly bits of green here and there. Here and there. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. All right. Looks like I could add a bit there. I think that's really good. Thanks, Lana. Also, there's a, some of you are joining me just now. There's a coffee, buy me a coffee option here. I will, I'll give you the link. I, uh, I'm drinking coffee now. It helps me stay awake. <laughs> so you can click that link there and go to Streamlabs and it'll pop in some coins into our jar there at the bottom right. And I'll dance, you know. How much does a coffee cost? How much is a coffee? I'm going to use E50 and E11 for my skin tones. So just a base coat of, of E50. I know it's not very bright. You can't see it very well. But it actually makes a huge difference when you look at it in comparison to the surrounding colors. Then I'm going to grab some E11. And if there's not enough definition, I can always do a completely E11 and then add in some E13. I'm just adding bits here and there. It's not a set amount. but I think I will do that. Do them completely E11 and then add in some E13. I can see I went out of lines here and there. Let's see, where's my E13? E13, did I throw it away? No, I didn't throw it away. Did I put it away somewhere? Where is my E13? It's one of my most used, there it is, one of my most used markers, so, E13, it's one of my favorite skin tone markers, for little white kids anyway, <laughs> for the white people, this is my white people color. There we go. That's good. Right there. Now, for the sky, I'm going to do G40, which is an unexpected color. This is green. It's called Dim Green. All right? It's kind of an unexpected color we're going with here. I'm just going to start up here then at the top. Just do horizontal lines, no back and forth, just uh, drop it down and pick it up, drop it down, pick it up, back and forth. Careful not to pick up any of that red on her dress. There we go. I'm going to hold this up for so you guys to see it a little better. See, I got on her arm there. Got a little bit of red there. We can see if we can take some of that out, but I'm not hopeful. <laughs> I'm going to use my clear blender pen here and just dab that in right there. 
on uh, other card stocks, you wouldn't get any of that out. But on this card stock, I'm able to get most of that out. So that's good. That is so good. Okay, let's come back in with my E13 and color that spot in. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna get this trimmed down. I want her, I'm gonna have to zoom out now. Thanks, Tiffany. Lana's gone, are you leaving Lana? Laying a banana? What are y'all talking about? Tornado coming, Bonnie says, green sky. Oh, <laughs> yeah, green sky tornadoes, right? Oh, uh, speaking of winners, I shipped all the prizes out today except one to Canada. I have to go to the post office for that, so I'm, I didn't get that one out, but I shipped everyone else's stuff out today. Okay, let's just trim that right there, right at her shoulders. Trim this one here, right at the bottom of that pumpkin, that last pumpkin. Make sure that that is even. I want to make sure I get it completely even. All right. Let's see if I did. Did I? Did I get it even? No, not really. Push it over this way like this. Just a sliver off. This way. There we go. Just a sliver. But I could see it. I could see it. You're welcome, Lana. Okay. Tammy, I'm using Express It Card. X dash press card. And now I'm going to use some sand cardstock from Hero Arts. It's my go-to craft paper. So I have a, an A2 size panel cut out already. And now I'm going to go for a side folded card base. Those are also available pre-folded and cut for you from Hero Arts. And now let's get my markers out of out of the way. You guys go over there. You guys go over there. What I'm gonna do first is adhere this to the front of my card base. But in order to do that, I want to make sure it's only four and a quarter inches. So we'll trim that down a little bit. A little bit off of both sides. Well, I already got it four and a quarter. So that's it right there. Some barely art glue. This is very thin paper, so if you're going to use liquid adhesive on the back, make sure you get a very thin bead so you don't add a ton of this to your card. And it may help to do this. This is what I like to do. I like to take it and just smack it onto my workspace first and then lay it down on the top of or on top of my card base like that All right that comes right up 
this I'll just wiggle around till it's just right and even there we go nice and even everywhere that's what I want right but now I'm gonna come in with my other this is the inlay part right here guys I'm going to add some glue to the front of my card base. Take my sheet of or my panel of sand cardstock and lay it right on top like this. Make sure it's right even on both sides there. Then with my trimmer, I'm going to take that end off. Just like that. And so now we have a one layer panel there. Then I'm going to do the same process right here. Flip that around and just join that to the top. So then it looks like it's just completely flat as you go across there. There's no dimension added to your card. Let's then trim this off. And there we have it. Isn't that fun? Wasn't that super easy? This inlay technique. Super fun. Super easy. Now all we need is a sentiment on here. So get my Misty. I was gonna actually, um, I was gonna stamp that again and I forgot to do that, but it's okay, I'll show you the finished project after I, on the other one that I did when I uh, did that. So now I just need to get me a, a sentiment. This one says, sending you autumn wishes. Happy autumn wishes. Let me make sure it's centered. It's not. That looks good. Let's nudge it up just a little bit there. And now I'm going to actually stamp this in Versamark. My wife was cleaning out my old craft space. I still have stuff over there after over a year of having moved. And uh, says, I'm going to throw stuff away. I'm like, okay, just bring me whatever you think I might want to use. And she brought me this fully inky Versamark pad that I had forgotten over there. I just don't use it. I hadn't used it. And I used it and I'm like, oh, why haven't I been using this? <laughs> there we go. One layer inlaid. Right? Beautimous. All right. I'll show you what the other one looks like after I stamped it again. See how I stamped that again? You can see the definition. I don't know. Can you see the definition? This one I did live, this one I did alone. Yeah, Kelly, blank space is, um, it's really your friend in, in design. So it helps people focus on the main part of your card. I'm going to pick up this glue. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, why don't you stop procrastinating and hit that button? What are you waiting for? And I want to thank everyone who sent me in a cup of coffee. It was very kind of you tonight. I appreciate that. Roberta likes the color of the live one. Yeah, they are a little different, aren't they? 
I didn't add any shadows underneath these pumpkins. I got shadows over here. I can see the difference now. I like the I like the green on this one, the field better. You know, I like some of the details, like the shadow underneath the leaf here on this one. Thank you, Lynn. Yep, thumbs up police are here, guys. If you haven't hit the thumbs up button, you might want to do that. You might want to do that. The thumbs up police have arrived and you may be arrested. <laughs> okay, let's turn the lights down just a little bit because I want to see. There we go. Much better, much easier on my eyeballs. Trish, what do you think? Which one you like? Already subscribed and hit thumbs up. Thank you very much. All right, for an extra entry into tonight's giveaway, I want you to type in the code free shipping DW in the comments. Just type in the word free shipping DW. That's an extra entry into the giveaway this evening. Thank you for doing that as well. And uh, I'll give you guys just a second to do that. If you're not subscribed to my email newsletter, you can do that by going to delinardi.com and typing your email address in there when the little thing pops up and hit enter. If you were subscribed to my email list and you're no longer subscribed or you unsubscribed and you'd like to get back in, you're going to have to email me and tell me that because my email program won't allow me to add you back in unless I get specific um, permission from you. Where's the needle? There we go. The pin, not a needle. What did you miss, Tiffany? You missed the in technique, the inlay. The inlay is basically grab a, a piece of cardstock or a card base adhere your adhere your drawing or your coloring in and then glue in the panels of the same card base on top and bottom yeah you can watch the replay <laughs> okay here are the other ones I did free shipping DW that's the yeah, all one, all together. Make sure you put them all together when you do the code. This is how you do it right here. Thank you, Fire43. Is that Margo? I hope that's Margo. I got confused last time and was calling her something else. Rachel, I think, because Rachel and Margo have very close names on, in, on YouTube. <laughs> there you go. Very good, Tara. Yay, Mickey. Very good, very good, perfect. Free shipping DW. Yes, this is white embossing right here. It says, thankful for every moment I get to spend with you. It's basically the same color palette. And then this is the, <laughs> the dog with the turkey bone, turkey leg. He is having the happiest Thanksgiving ever. He's a little golden retriever. Awesome, Lana. Awesome, awesome. All right. Very good, guys. Uh, Susan, I think it doesn't really matter. I think whatever you type in there will be fine. Awesome, Rachel. You rock. I'm going to give you guys who already ordered a big hand. Thank you. I think I just need to cut this off, a little sliver off the edge here. It was sticking out and bugging me. Okay, so we have two winners tonight, okay? Two winners, and you get to pick which of the fall stamp sets you want. So you will have to write, uh, you'll have to write, um, Colorado Craft Company. I'm forgetting the email address. Someone remind me of the email address. A not Adrian. Bell, B E L L E. Bell, Adrian's sister. Amy's daughter. Sh 
Shop or craft? <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm thinking, I'm always thinking, what do I need from Amazon when I'm up late at night? I'm like, I need to get some stuff from Amazon. Let's zoom in just a little bit. There we go. Thank you, Rachel. I'm glad you guys like my card. Cards. And a reminder, this is what we're going to do tomorrow night. So, um, that that's a fairly ambitious project. <laughs> but I think we'll be able to do it. it. Took me a good while, but I've, uh, since I got the colors down, I know what I'm doing. This was just my trial. This is the first time I did this one, so, or did this uh, setup, so... Ready? All right, I'm going to pick a winner. I'm going to go up and down all of the comments on both Facebook and YouTube together. And go all the way up from the very beginning. And I'm going to pick a winner from the beginning time. Let's see, the winner, the first winner is Linda Toman. Linda said, Daniel going to be busy chit-chatting night. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, I'm glad, Linda, you are tonight's winner. So I need you to write a note to bell at, that's B-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, at coloradocraftcompany.com and tell her you won a stamp set from Del and Artie tonight and pick one of the fall stamp sets that's on, that is on sale. All right, one of those uh, that we're featuring this weekend. Uh, you can refer to my email if you like, or just go to the website, the shop, and uh, look at the list, the drop down list under shop, and it'll say fall on Halloween. All right, I'm going back down and up, and we're going to pick up another winner. The winner is. Stamping Songbird. Stamping Songbird is the second winner. Welcome, or welcome. Congratulations, Stamping Songbird. You are the second winner tonight. So you do the same thing, right? Bell at coloradocraftcompany.com. Let her know which stamp set you want, and they'll ship it out to you. Make sure you include your addresses, guys. Awesome, awesome. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me tonight. Thank you so much. Join me again tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Uh, don't forget to use your code no matter what amount you spend. If you get automatic free shipping, put my code in there just so Dell gets credit for the sale. That'd be awesome. I appreciate that. And I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. If those of you who worship on Sunday, I hope you get to go out and worship on Sunday tomorrow or whatever you do to worship. I hope you get to do that. God bless you all and have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Take care.